Yeah, guys, ask him if he's taking requests, ask him to reply to my video. Um, top five most disgusting facts about Muhammad. I was not planning to make another David Wood video so soon, but he called me out by name, requested that I make a video response to one of his videos. And you know me, I can't resist the challenge. <laughs> And uh, I cannot resist the invitation of David Wood. I mean, look at his eyes. He looks smart, by the way. Actually, smart is not enough. I think this guy is a genius. And he's a prophet is so proud about his answers. So let us see what the Abdul answer is, which I found it a very astonishing answer. The number four most disgusting fact about Muhammad. Muhammad encouraged his followers to suck on each other's fingers. Islam is the only religion I'm aware of that promotes finger sucking. Sahih al Bukhari 5456 narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet said, When you eat, do not wipe your hands till you have licked it or had it licked by somebody else. Uh, that's not a translation, that's an interpretation. <laughs> that's an interpretation. That is an interpretation. That's an interpretation? Guys, this is not a translation. This is the inter What is the interpretation? It says, no, do, you, do you understand English? Guys, anyone see here anything in the text that says that this is interpretation? Read carefully, Abdul. It says the Prophet said, and here there is little tiny marks in the top, which means this is a quotation, you liar. What interpretation? Billy, mm. use the cleaner. Narrated that Ibn Abbas said, that the Prophet said, who is the one is talking? The Prophet said, the, so the Prophet interpretation, the Prophet? That's an interpretation. The Prophet was given interpretation for what the Prophet said. <laughs> the Prophet said, you idiot. That's an interpretation. <laughs> I mean, do you even have a little intelligence or intellect or dignity? When you eat, who said that? The Prophet. Don't wipe your hand till you have licked it or had it to be licked by someone else. When you are saying that this is interpretation, anyone see where it says this is interpretation? It says the Prophet said. That's an interpretation. What a kid you are. You are not even an adult. You are like Aisha who did reach her age of puberty at the age of 6 according to you or 9. And we get you busted with that. Sahih Muslim 5294. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah said, When one of you eats some food, let him not wipe his hand until he has licked it or had it licked. Ah... Uh. The confusion in this report is similar to um, the confusion that would occur if a groom invited folks to his party um, and said that men that are invited need to be dressed in black. Um, your best friend, who happens to be the groom's brother, says, uh, my, my brother said to dress in um, black or dark clothes. Now, due to the way he says it, you think that black or dark clothes were the words of the groom, but in reality, it was the brother. And due to this, you assume it's optional. Black or dark clothes. Black or dark clothes. Black or dark clothes. And due to this, you go to the wedding dressed up in a dark brown suit and you happen to stand out. And this hadith falls under the same issue. You are a very stupid. <laughs> One of you, it's not the guy next to the guy he said, or it is your prophet said you're a liar. I mean, what's wrong with those people? <laughs> Show us where it says that someone else said that he is confused. Maybe the prophet he said, lick it or let, um, let someone lick it. Do you see anyone saying that someone said, someone said, or, no, it says the Prophet said. 
and the Arabic is so clear. Either akala, you see between two brackets, here we go, even, even the Muslims, they made it for you in a black to show you that this is the word of the Prophet, the rest is not. إِذَا أَكَلَ أَحَدَكُمْ طَعَامًا فَلَا يَمْسَحْ يَدَهُ حَتَّى يَلْعَقَهَا أَوْ يُلْعُقُهَا يُلْعِقَهَا which means you let somebody lick it for you. As simple as that. Who is the one who is talking in the whole sentence? Is your prophet. And who is the one who made the translation in the, in, the, in, the, in the left? It's your prophet followers. He said, so either he lick it or someone else lick it. And this hadith falls under the same issue. Read carefully. Who is the one saying the whole sentence? Muhammad, not the groom, a brother. And this hadith falls under the same issue. So how many hours you spend to come with this answer? I mean, you are g really, really, really a child. What a kid you are. You are not even an adult. <laughs> Anyone have little dignity, but not you. He can see clearly that this is the prophet words and this is Sahih. Now in this hadith, something similar happens where the narrator reports on his confusion. Ah, the narrator, they are confused. I never thought about this before. The narrator, he is confused. The narrator reports on his confusion. <laughs> By the way, Farid means unique. I have to admit, he is unique. Farid is unique. I mean, you can look at this. His answers, nobody agree with it except him. And for sure, the text in the Muslims. But the scholars, they agreed upon that he is a liar. Are you stupid or what? The companion is stupid, confused. You idiot. <laughs> he can be confused if he is explaining, if he is doing explanation. But you just said he is a narr narrating. Narrating what the prophet said, not what someone said. Oh boy. Now this is a more accurate translation. According to David, had it licked means had it licked by someone else. However, this is an incorrect interpretation. The hadith actually says, let him not wipe his hand until he has licked it, or let him not wipe his hand until he had it licked. In other words, the narrator of the hadith wasn't certain. Yul'iqaha or Yal'aqaha and hence he used both terms due to his uncertainty. This is a valid conclusion. You are a big fat liar and a scam. Yul'iqaha means he let someone else do it for him. And let me show everybody that you are a scam. Because if we read all the interpretation and all the translation, we will not find a single one agree with you. However, this is an incorrect interpretation. Do, do, guys, do you understand me? All the Muslim translation as you see. This is Muslim translation. This is Muslim website. This is their words. How come not a single one of them he come with your understanding, genius Fifi? However, this is an incorrect interpretation. I will tell you why. Because you are a fraud. And you know me. Because you are a fraud. And... You know me. <laughs> this is the hadith and this is your translation. And look, even the Muslims, they put between two brackets for you by someone else. Do you like the someone else? Look, 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 look. They are not only helping me to get you busted, they are spanking you. However, this is an incorrect interpretation. Let me show you some pro moves right here. <laughs> 
However, this is an incorrect interpretation. <laughs> How come all those Muslims, they get it wrong? Only Fifi, brother, he get it right. So why the Muslims don't agree with you? Why not a single Muslim agree with you? Why all the translation made by Muslims is wrong? Why they are using the word someone else to lick it? Do you see how many times they are repeating somebody else? Look, someone else to lick it. Here, somebody else to lick it. May Allah lick you. However, this is an incorrect interpretation. May Allah lick you. <laughs> I mean, do you see how they try to defend by... by it's, it's a stupid, even the idea is stupid, because this is your Islamic website, and the translation, all of it is done by Muslims. Not a single translation is done by us. Look at this hadith here, brother. Make it more clear for you, brother. Ibn Abbas narrated that the Messenger of Allah, P B U H of M O O S A W short wave said, when one he eat of you eat, he must not wipe his hand till he lick it or give it to someone else to lick it, such as wife, husband, agreed upon. Agreed what? However, this is an incorrect interpretation. They agreed about what? They agreed that Fifi is a fraud. Allah has given everyone a chance. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, lick that blessing. Lick. Eat that blessing all up. Get that, get that green part of the blessing. Get that brown, crunchy part of that blessing. Blessing tastes good. Blessing is straight from Allah. Oh my god, that is a blessing. If I've ever seen a blessing, he's blessed. You feel blessed, bro? The hadith actually says, let him not wipe his hand until he has licked it. Or, let him not wipe his hand until he had it licked. In other words, the narrator of the hadith wasn't certain. <laughs> the Muslim agreed upon that everything Fifi is saying is a fraud. And you know what? This is my challenge for you. What about you show us as we showed you? You see, you are just making, you are, you, this is what they do. They are, they are making their own false explanation to get away from the disgusting, stupid teaching of their prophet. You're basically saying that the prophet himself was a gross, disgusting person. And I, for one, would never say something like that. Yeah, you know, sometimes to get that blessing, you got to eat that messing. It says in the front of us, agreed upon by who? By the scholars. Who is the one is important to agree upon something here when they say agreed upon? When the Muslim, they say agreed upon. That means the scholars agree that this is what it's meant. What a coward. And this is supposedly your answer? What a horrible answer. Uh, look like Allah, seriously, he could not find one smart Abdul he can defend his prophet. Is the spank is hard today? It's very hard. I think my five fingers is showing there. You know where. <laughs> Please, don't mention the name of this kid again to me.